Hello, it's been a while, um, but um, finally found some time after uh, my personal devastation over the EU referendum, um, although other politics are available. Um, I finally had some time to do another review, and this time we have Old Slug Porter from RCH Brewery in the West Country. Uh, bottle condition, English Ale. And it's won silver medal at the Brewing Industry International Awards 1998. Um, it's from Western Supermare. Uh, bottle conditions, right. Should we see what the book says? Hmm. Old Slug. Interesting name. I wonder, I hope it doesn't taste of slugs because um, not that I've tried slugs before nor I doubt has anyone on purpose um, right first period 1992 uh, RCH stands for Royal Clarence Hotel um, that's where the brewery began life in 1992 no 1982 so this has been brewed for 10 years after they started um, interesting um, the ingredients are simple but effective crystal malt and black malt, uh, colour and roasted grain, fuggled and golden top. That sounds interesting. Sounds like a very standard porter to me, this bit ago. Right, dark toasting notes. A dark garnet coloured porter with light, airy body and an aroma of smooth coffee and creamy chocolate. Okay. The most bitter taste features roasted grain and coffee flavours as well as a gentle, gentle hop tang, rounded off by a dry, bitter coffee finish. Mm, tasting notes sound good, actually. I've been getting more and more into porter recently, so there's been an interesting one. Uh, just comment on the design. The picture is of a slug with uh, a monocle, eye stalks, and a big bushy moustache. Um, I don't think it mentioned why it was called Old Slug, but anyway. Okay, let's give it a go. A huge smell to it. Just give it a go. Let's pour into the glass, shall we? It's bottle condition, so I won't go the whole way, so I'll finish about there. Okay, really nice head there. Haven't had this in any of the beers I've reviewed for a while actually really really good head um oh sorry about the light by the way it's quite quite bright outside which is quite nice mm -hmm. um got a nice glass here from rebellion brewery it's a local brewery to me um so um basically i thought it was good for a porter so got a bit of fizziness here can you see a bit of fizziness um let's go for a bit of a smell okay it smells good it smells like a proper old porter so um Let's give this one a go. Cheers. Mm. Mm. It's not too strong, which I like. Uh, I can't remember which percentage. What is the percentage of this? 4.5. It tastes lighter. It's um it's not as strong tasting as other porters. It has got a bit of a slight coffee taste, a slight chocolate taste, but um, nowhere near as strong as, as other porters. It's a very fine example of a porter, I must say. Yeah. I mean, on the video, I mean, it looks almost like a Guinness. Um, doesn't taste like one, thank goodness. Um, uh, I always find a Guinness is a bit like drinking a entire roast dinner. Um, this is yeah, quite light, quite airy in its taste, and you can tell from the carbonation. I um, don't know if I can taste much hops in it, but certainly hasn't got a bitter aftertaste like I find a lot of dark beers do. The initial taste, I really like the initial taste of it. It's got a really, really clean taste to it. I think that's the way I would describe it the most. It's, it's a really clean drinking. Um, yeah, really nice. Um, if I saw this in a pub, um, 
I'll definitely have a go at it. Um, it is quite a decent beer. Uh, oh, bring out some carbonation there. There we go. Um, yeah, um, I think we've done one pause before, which was the... Um, what was it now? We had another porter. My mind is gone. I've done. I've done the. I've only done like 17, 18 beers now, and I've already forgotten all the ones I've done. Uh, so but I have done another porter. This one is better. Whichever the other one was, this one is better. Um, so uh, yeah, pretty decent. Um, I say if you're in the Western Supermare area and it's on cask, I've never had it on cask, so well, I've never had it before at all. Um, give it a go. If you sit on cask anywhere, in fact, um, I don't even know if they do it. I'm guessing they do. if it's bottle condition, I'm guessing they do it on cask as well. Um, give it a go, uh, or bottles, either or. I've never ever heard of it or seen it before, uh, but it was in the book. So, cheers.